Welcome to the 2022 Stag Bowl. We are going to crown a champion tonight here in Division Three football. It's the two seed, Mount Union Raiders at 14-0, taking on the one seed, North Central Cardinals also at 14-0. Man, on the field early, you can tell these guys are fired up. Someone's going to be undefeated. Hey. Oh, yeah, I'm getting fired up here. Let's take a look at the bracket. Last week in the semifinals, Mount Union came from behind to get the win for North Central. They just ran all over the place, and that sets up the undefeated matchup. Mount Union taking on North Central. I mean, this is their 22nd appearance in this game, and they almost didn't make it. Big comeback last week against Warburg. Now, they've had their share of blowouts this year, but they've had tight games, none closer than this. Braxton Plunk hits Edwin Reed there late. Tyler Echeverry gets that winning touchdown. But before that, there was a big fourth down conversion from Plunk to Wayne Ruby just to keep that drive alive. The comeback from behind win. Mountain Un Union is here once again. Man, it was messy weather out here yesterday. Miserable <laughs> and rainy, but it has cleared up. 44 degrees here in Annapolis, Maryland at the campus. Uh, the Naval Academy. This is a beautiful setting. Couldn't be perfect for a D3 national championship. Yeah, beautiful night for football. Both these teams are ready to go. Mount Union has won the toss. They elected to first. So North Central will get the ball first. Elliot Warner will boot things away. Joe Sacco is the deep man. Who will return it for North Central. Gets the party started across the 20. A return of 16 yards. That'll bring out their starting quarterback for a perfect 14-0 Raiders, Braxton Plum. You know, captain of the team, coaches, both coaches for both quarterbacks, so they're both gym rats. Uh, look at these numbers. Over 4,300 yards passing, 48 TDs, and six interceptions. And that's 74% completion percentage. Very accurate, he's got a strong arm, can make all the throws. And by the way, he's got some really good wide receivers, led by number six, Wayne Ruby. And one for North Central. They give it to their guy Greenfield. Stood up, and he's going to be short. It was Von Factor again meeting him immediately. Yeah, and Von Factor, Duke Hill, those guys up front. That was good. Kick is up for range, and he hooked it wide left. No good. A huge stop for Mount Union, keeping the score at 7 0. Bend but don't break. Excellent job by that Purple Raiders defense. Red led by Daryl Ely, the defensive coordinator. Great job by Mount Union. They get the stop. Their offense takes over on the other side. The number two seed, Mount Union Purple Raiders. What a season it has been. A perfect 14-0. Jeff Dart, in his third year as head coach, said, I am so excited for these guys who worked so hard to get back to the standard. And the standard for Mount Union is winning a national championship, Brady. Really. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's been a young team, right? They're growing. The offensive line is young and growing. They're getting those, uh, getting that experience up because there's, there's nothing better than reps for experience. And, oh, by the way, Jeff Dart, what a start to his head coach career. 31 and 1. Pretty good. Former offensive lineman. Won three national championships as a player at Mount Union. Traveled really well for this national championship game. Lainey, a quarterback keeper, and Mount Union dials up the pressure. Vaughn Factor again with the stop. Yeah, great job by Mount Union there. That's a called quarterback draw. Vaughn Factor gets off his block from his defensive tackle position right there, number 92. Face up the middle, picks up six, and actually losing that national championship. Third and seven. Plunk looking to throw. Scans will pull it down and tuck and run. Avoids a tackle. Nice job to pick up the first down. Braxton Plunk picks up eight. Yeah, terrific job by Braxton Plunk there. He's going to have to do this tonight. When plays break down, he's going to have to make something happen with his feet. He does a nice job. He's looking to the right. He comes back to the left. The pocket collapses, and then he gets upfield and picks up the first down. Antoine Walker was the closest guy there who caught, could have. Their catch is called for. And a nice job by the punter, Elliot Warner, to pin him inside the 10, a 31-yard punt. North Central with a 7-0 lead. This is what they're playing for. 
A championship is on the line here in Division Three football. Come on back. Little transmit here on third down. Third and nine, leaning, rolling out, will stop. Still has time. Look at that protection. And eventually incomplete. Good coverage downfield by Mount Union. Forcing a fourth down. Yeah, you said. Wide receiver set for the Purple Raiders on third and eight. Plump throwing over the middle, complete. This is right at the sticks. Ruby with the catch, but he is marked just short. Mount Union, that's why Jeff Dark's kicking this away here. So Warner. Put some air underneath that punt. We'll check up inside the 10. Another good punt by Elliott Warner. Football. North Central up 14 to nothing. Second and 10. Pass outlet to KJ Redmond, the running back. A good run after the catch for Redmond. They're going to give him the first down. Yeah, and it's exactly what you want to do. KJ Redmond catches that little pass on the sideline, and then it immediately explodes up the sideline. No dancing. Get up there, use your speed, and pick up that first down. Tops at four, snap is off. Clark looking to throw again. Pressure gets away from Gilroy. And did he complete that? Yes, he did. That is a completed catch. Jaden Manley tiptoe on the sidelines, picked up 13. And Greenfield led the nation the last three years in rushing yards. Dragging with defenders on his back. Where do they spot him? It's going to be close. He looks like he spotted him short, but it looks like he fought at the end there to possibly pick it up. But I could tell by the way the headline judge was running in, he was rolling him a little bit short. Greenfield stays in there to the right of Lane and they give him the carry again, plunging forward. I don't think he got it. With the way they're spotting it, he is short. Rossi Moore, Matt Lilia in there. Where do they mark it? Yeah, I'm with you. He needs to get to the seven. He did not get there. A turnover on downs. What a stop by the Purple Raiders defense. Yeah, great penetration up front. Look at that push up front. Tremendous job. Second and four. Clark will dump it off underneath. Echeverry staying on his feet. Shedding defenders will pick up the first down. The clock will stop momentarily. Yeah. He picks up 10. And how about this run after the catch by Echeverry? And that, and you got to make plays, right? And making plays involves breaking tackles. He breaks one, then a little whoopsie doo spin cycle. Gets upfield, picks up the first down. Welcome back to the 2022 Stag Bowl on ESPN. We are at the half. North Central with a 14-0 lead over Mount Union. A couple of midshipmen holding the trophy. That's what they're playing for. So third and one. First drive here in this third quarter. And Jaberry lowers the shoulder and picks up the first down. Longest rush of the day for Mount Union. Pick it up nine there on first down. And second and short. That Jaberry picking his spots. And you can see Mount Union comes out of the half with a different swag. A little pep in their step, I would say. And you like the aggressiveness that Echeverry runs with as well. A Florida kid. We talked about 33 players on the roster from Florida. Echeverry from Naples. And just, he's got... Take the handoff. Hulk is going to throw. He finds his tight end and Chase Lawson. Lawson, he's been huge up front, blocking for his running backs, and now he catches the first down. The sideline's going nuts. They're getting hype. Fourth and a one for Mount Union. Echeverry, the extra push, and it looks like he got it. Yeah, he picked that first down up, and that's all Tyler Echeverry. At the end of that run, you see him Julian Bell, the safety comes up, meets him in the hole. Low man wins. Echeverry gets underneath it. Watch the push at the end. This little push right there gets that first down. Three if you want, but it may be four down territory. Third and 11. Flushed out. Pump, pump fakes. Keeps it himself. Diving forward. And he got the first down. Braxton Plunk on third down. Picks up 12. And, and that's what you need to do, right? Make plays. Bryson Plunk gives a fake here in the middle. You're going to see a North Central defender just bite on it right. He gives him a little bit right there and then steps up inside. Knows to go forward. Back for your fifth year and you know you're going to be the backup. The 
keeper. Blending. And that one goes nowhere. Rossi Moore read that one immediately. Just an attitude with that offensive line. They were running between the tackles. They just couldn't score when they got down inside the red zone. Plunk trying to direct traffic. Has a man open. That's Wayne Ruby, his most dependable receiver, picks up 11 first down. And Rooks' best throw is that he can make every single throw. And I love the way he can improvise here on third and short. Redmond up the middle. First down, move the chains from out Union. And defensive coordinator, uh, Daryl Ely, that said he can make all the throws because, you know, the one thing that people need to understand with both the, both these teams do this they practice ones versus ones a lot and that makes you good right great defense great offense iron sharpens iron He's 70 yards but did not finish it off that's mitchell in the game cutting lower the shoulder and he will pick up the first down give it to red no keeper for plunk he's got room throws it to ben a nine-yard touchdown run by Braxton Plunk, and Mount Union's on the board. We saw Angelo Cusimano for North Central make a big fourth down tackle that time. He comes up at the goal line. Braxton Plunk has got a load of steam, and he was not going to be denied. Turns it up right here, and he says, I'm getting it in. Get out of my way. New kicker, Thomas Piccarillo. Come on for the extra point. Piccarillo bangs it through. Mountain Union, their second possession of the half. They get on the board. Braxton Plunk, get off me, man. Elliot Warner. Three things away for Mount Union. Sacco on the return, and special teams coming up big for Mount Union. He won't even get it to the 20. It's a two-score game. Nation, third down conversion. Third and seven. North Central looking to throw. Lightning incomplete. Nick Rummel couldn't hold on to it, and Mount Union gets the stop. Yeah, Caleb. Tellum was there, makes that break. Now throws a little behind. Even if he catches that that pass, Detellum makes that tackle. Third and eight. Plunk completes again this time to Manley. Nice run after the catch. Will be forced out of bounds by Antoine Walker, but he picks up 20. And more importantly, another first down. And great recognition by. Plunk, where to go? You know, North Central sends a blitz from the field side. Plunk releases it down to the boundary right away to Manley. And as you said, yards after the catch. Good job to break that tackle, stay in bounds. Mount Union is in good position. Play, here we go, fourth and 13. Plunk, pressure, throwing over the middle. What a catch! Wayne Ruby comes up in a big spot, picks up 29 inside the five. Mount Union is still alive. Yeah, go to your best receiver, throw it up, and say, go get it, big man. Wayne Ruby goes up between four defenders from North Central to make that catch. Going from the three, Redmond in the backfield. Throwing, end zone, touchdown, Mount Union! to the rescue for Ruby. His 30th reception touchdown of the season, most in any division. And Mountain Union's down by one score. And I just love how quick Braxton Plunk delivers the football. Throws an absolute BB. And this little inside push and then out. Ooh. Little arrow route outside. Great route. That was dirty. By Wayne Ruby. And an excellent job by Plunk to put it, put it on him immediately. Thomas Piccarillo for the extra point. Oh, let's go. A seven-point game with 3.34 to play. We talked about this earlier. This is a position North Central has not been in all year. They have not been in a one-score game with 3.34 left. 
And we'll see how they can answer. But look at that dart right there by Plunk. But as you said, that route was filthy, dirty. That was dirty. Yeah, that was a good route. Antoine Walker did not have a chance there. That's how you run a route right there. And Plunk puts it right on him. Second and one, quick snap. Plunk, pressure, completes over the middle. Back to Redmond, spins down at the 45. It'll stop it momentarily, but as soon as they spot it, 44 seconds to play, second and 10. Plunk will air it out, deep pass, it is caught! A pickup of 40 yards to Wayne Ruby. Yeah, I mean, you're Antoine Walker, you're in great position. You just got to make the play, but Wayne Ruby just outplayed you. Again, he's a great receiver, makes the catch. Hey, this game ain't over yet. Not yet. No, it's not. Wayne Ruby is so aggressive. Looking to throw in zone. Touchdown, Mount Union. With the touchdown catch, and it's back to a one score game. The one thing you can't do, North Central, is give up an over the top play, and they did it to Wayne Ruby. Puts him in great position, and Plunk makes him pay as he gets it to Edwin Reed for the touchdown. And that is a quick score. And as you said, partner, it's not quite over yet for Reed. That was his first catch today. Picarillo will try to make this a seven point game. And that kick is tipped, but it still goes through. 